Once Upon a Time, Learning the Multiplication Table, Part 1. Once Upon a Time, written and illustrated by Caroline Renee Alexander. Once Upon a Time, there was two children who went on a crazy adventure together because they'd eaten magic goo. Now, who made this magic goo? Why, the blue kangaroo, of course. She was making more to sell in the candy store. Two times two of blue kangaroo equals four in the candy store. But the children didn't get the candy from the candy store. Their auntie got the candy from the candy store. And while they were at her house, eating the blue goo, strange things began to happen. Like the key in the T shaped like a number. And behind Auntie's house was the ancient pines, whispering, This way, this way. So they took the key to the ancient pine and opened the door. Three times three, the key in the T equals nine of the ancient pine. And when they went in, they found a chest with golf clubs and a golf ball and a hidden drawer the globe inside. Taking the globe out and looking at the globe, they could see a golf green at hole 16. Four times four, a hidden drawer, equals 16 on a golf green. So they took the clubs and they took the golf balls and they headed to the golf green. Of course, things didn't get any better over there. The ball went astray and hit an angry beehive. How do you get away from angry bees? Well, down a wet water slide. Twenty-five meters. Five times five, an angry beehive equals twenty-five down a wet water slide. And along the river, they saw some chicks collecting some sticks. Six chicks collecting that they needed the sticks to cross the river to get under the tunnel this way. Six times six minus six equals thirty-six chicks crossing the river. And on the other side of the tunnel, the chicks showed the children a beautiful gate. The gates of heaven, they said. But they explained they could not go any further and the children would have to go by themselves. And of course they did. And when they got to the ladder vine, using their hands and their feet, all four, they climbed up the nine rungs to the top of the ladder vine. Seven times seven, like the gates of heaven, equals forty-nine of the ladder vine. Once in a treehouse, they found a scroll, and on the scroll was a map and the symbol of a golden plate, an eight in the middle. They followed the map and found a hidden door at 64. Pressing the eight, it opened. This way. Eight times eight, a golden plate, equals 64 to open the door. They climbed into a mining cart down the railroad tracks led them deep, deep into a mine. And that's where they saw the magic stones and a sign that said Tree Grotto. Following through yet another tunnel, they found their way into an arbor of 81 trees and a tree 81 with portals of sun is where they found it. Nine times nine, deep in a mine, equals eighty-one portals of the sun. The end. How to enjoy this book. Show your child how they only need to learn one half of the times table, because the other half of the table is a mirror image. Ask questions about the stories using who, what, where, when, and why. Or how. Why was the bee? 
being so angry? How did they get away from the being? Once Upon a Time, written and illustrated by Caroline Renee. Creating relationship with numbers. Yay! It's magic. The end of part one. Stay tuned for part two and part three. You can order the book at alexandraapproach at gmail.com.